Our next guest is currently killing it at the Kill Devil Club. We want to welcome musician Miles Bonney to the show. Miles, you have roots right here in KC, don't you, brother? I do. I live here. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm my family's from here. My, my grandfather was in Rosedale as a minister, and Lawrence, and all over. And you have traveled extensively with your music, right? Yeah, yeah I'm very appreciative. I'm going to Europe a lot, and I might go back. Um, might go to Australia next month. It's all kind of up in the air, but it, I love traveling for music and meeting people that enjoy my music and sharing modern soul sounds, you know? Now, when you say your music, what, what kind of genre is your music? I come from hip-hop and jazz and classical, so I kind of um, discovered soul through uh, sampling with making hip-hop beats. I was in a group called Sounds Good in Kansas City, and um, I love vinyl culture, you know, so uh, I play records and um, sometimes play digital files as well because some things aren't on vinyl, but I just love sharing, you know, independent and, and, and good music regardless of where can be found. You brought these albums because you play the records right along with your performance, your live performance? Yeah, sometimes I play a, a digital backing track as I will in the performance later, but otherwise um, some of my music is on vinyl um, and there's a lot of other great records out there. So like a Kill Devil, uh, they love to be interactive. And so I decided to bring some vinyl, let people choose their own records, bring some of their own if they want to share music with other people and um, gets to be a nice music listening party. Outstanding. You have a new album out. Tell me what should people expect? Well, um, you know, there's always a lot of things going on. The latest one, S3, is a project between myself and Brinks and Sinatra, who's a composer in Vienna, Austria, and very talented guy. Um, and so, Miles Bonney S3, you can look that up. It's a, it's a modern soul meets jazz and, and beats thing, but it's something I think is very accessible and makes people feel good and warm inside. It's very relaxed, I think. When did you have that little light bulb moment that went on in your head? You were like, I want to be a musician. I want to I wanna be a performer. Yeah, well, I think I'm, I'm much more into like creating my own original music than I'm actually performing, but I look forward to the opportunity today, and I do perform a lot. Um, my dad's a musician, and so I always grew up around music and trumpets. Um, it was just kind of like furniture for me, just to have a trumpet around. Uh, and I think at this point, I just uh, have worked with a lot of other people's organizations and helping communicate what they do, and I, now I'm communicating what I do, and I look forward to doing it all, because I still have social work and things like that as well. Who's on your iPod right now? Who are you listening to right now? Oh, man. Well, of course, uh, Kendrick Lamar is doing wonderfully. Um, I love uh, the artist Bilal as well as another artist named Bilal Salam, Wes Felton, Reggie B, who's also in Kansas City. Um, there's a lot of great music out there. Eddie Moore, it's all out there. And what is the flugelhorn? The flugelhorn? Flugel well, you know I what? Don't, I, don't I think I brought it with me. You did? It's a, it's a lower tone trumpet. So um, it's something that if you were to extend it, uh, it's the same length as right. a trumpet, but it has a bigger bell and a little warmer sound. I, I want to check it out, the flugelhorn. All right. All right, so you're at the Kill Devil Club, and they have that kind of old school speakeasy vibe. So what's it like performing there? It's great. I mean, the, the people that work there are very cool. They're very supportive of what I do. And, um, and they bring a lot of live jazz acts, and I definitely respect that. Um, I'm doing much more of a kind of DJ with performance thing and like I said make an interactive but it's a great mix of, of people it's a beautiful room and um, I definitely encourage people to you know consider checking it out and you are there Thursdays through February is that right absolutely this month and next month there tonight I'll be performing with um, Brandon Draper who's an accomplished percussionist we'll be doing some live improv with looping and things in addition people can bring their records and we can share them on the turntable as well I just realized I have absolutely no plans tonight I think I'm gonna grab the artist Trey Bryan I think we're gonna come down I love be a Trey. Good plan. you know he, Trey. He's, he's a good guy to have around <laughs> All right, well, you guys don't go anywhere because Miles is going to perform a song from his new album live right after this.